find the unit tangent vector, capital vector T, and curvature K for the following parameterized curve. And here we are given the vector valued function R of T defined by the square root of 7 times sine of D, 3 sine of T, and 4 cosine of T. So the first thing that we want to do is find the unit tangent vector. So let's start here by recalling the formula that we need for our unit tangent vector. So we note that the unit tangent vector is a vector of length 1 pointing in the direction of the tangent vector. And so we define this as the tangent vector, or first derivative of vector r, by the magnitude of our tangent vector. So we'll use this formula to get us started. So looking at our given curve, we want to find the tangent vector, r prime. So this will give us the square root of 7 multiplied by cosine of t. And we have 3 multiplied by cosine of t. And then minus 4 sine of t. And since there's no common scalars to pull out here, we'll go right for our magnitude. So this is going to be the square root of the sum of the squares of each component. So we have the square root of 7 squared leaves us with 7 cosine square root of t plus 3 squared is 9 times cosine of t squared plus negative 4 squared, so 16 sine of t squared. We have two like terms within this radicand that we can combine. So we rewrite this as the square root of 7 plus 9 gives us 16 cosine squared of t plus 16 sine squared of t. And we're noticing now that we have a greatest common factor of 16. So we can factor that out. So I have the square root of 16 multiplied by cosine squared plus sine of t squared. Again, this is all under the square root still. And then within this radicand, we get excited. We see, hey, there's Pythagorean's identity. So we know that simplifies to 1. And so we have the square root of 16, which leaves us with 4. And so using this, we're now ready to find the unit tangent vector. We can say, therefore, our unit tangent vector, again, r prime of t, divided by the magnitude of the tangent vector. So we have the vector, the tangent vector, which is the square root of 7 cosine of t. And we have 3 cosine of t and minus 4 sine of t. And that is all over a magnitude of 4. And so this is our final answer here for the unit tangent vector. But again, a vector of length 1 pointing in the direction of our tangent vector. And we'll now use this to find the curvature. So we'll make sure to give ourselves enough room. So we're ready to find the curvature. And again, let's start by recalling the formula that we'll need. So we know that the curvature is defined one of two ways. We could use the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent vector all over the magnitude of the tangent vector. Or we could go ahead and do the magnitude of the cross product of our velocity vector with the acceleration vector. So the first derivative cross with our second derivative all over the velocity vector, the tangent vector cubed. All right, so you want to go ahead and pick your favorite form to go ahead and compute the curvature. So here, let's start by looking at our first formula here. So we already know that the magnitude of our tangent vector the magnitude of r prime of t, we found that in the first part, is 4. 
And so we need to go ahead and find the magnitude of the derivative of the unit tangent vector. So we want to use that unit tangent vector boxed above and now differentiate it. So we have the rate of change of the unit tangent vector. To keep that one fourth that scalar out in front. And differentiating the components of our vector, we'll have minus the square root of 7 sine of t minus 3 sine of t and then negative 4 cosine of t. So we'll go ahead now and we'll find the magnitude of this. So the magnitude of the rate of change of our unit tangent vector will be 1 fourth multiplied by the big old square root. And so we have negative or minus the square root of 7 squared to leave us with a positive 7 sine of t squared plus a minus 3 squared gives us plus 9 sine of t squared. And then last but not least, we have minus 4 squared to give us 16 cosine of t squared. And looking within that radicand or inside our square root here, we have two like terms that we can combine. So we have, actually let's give ourselves more room. So we have 1 fourth multiplied by the square root of 16 sine of t squared plus 16 cosine of t squared. And again, we see that common 16, that greatest common factor. So we can pull that to the front or factor it out. So we have 16 multiplied by sine of t squared plus cosine of t squared. And again, we're very excited. We see Pythagorean's identity, which goes to 1. So I have 1 fourth multiplied by the square root of 16. So we have 1 fourth times 4, and those 4s cancel each other right out, leaving us with 1. So we're now ready to go ahead and find our curvature. So our curvature here, again, is the magnitude of the rate of change of the unit tangent vector by the magnitude of the tangent vector. So we are left with 1 all over 4. And that is our beautiful final answer here.